chenye mtoto wangu ana go through hata mimi mwenyewe sijui na sielewi yeye ndiye anajua relationship yake na Kevin ilikuwaaje na sijui kwa nini mtoto wangu alisurvive hata niliambia Muffin Muffin kuna watu tu watasema wewe ndio umekula Kevin sababu ume survive wacha neni tu na mtoto wangu Amon boyfriend yake juu nikiamka nilijipata niko kwa Kahil gari ilistopia mahali pale chini nikaona mwili wa Shan imelala hapo na Kevin ilikuwa imelala hapo kando ya gari Uh, best friend ya Kevin alikuwa ametoka alikuwa amepeleka Erika Husi. Nani walipokea mwili ya Kevin? Kuna a cousin to Kevin mm. aka communicate na Kate. But wakambiwa wakapigwa na shosha Erika wakambiwa wasitoe mwili hadi afike. Mm. So wao kufika akasema ti Patricia ndo bibi yendo ako na right ya ku receive the body. Eh na ndo hapo ndo akapewa hizo makaratasi. Are you worried they might finally bury Kevin in Langata? I'm not worried as per se now because there's a court injunction whereby yes. the body cannot be removed from KU. For Erica like I said earlier, the mom can decide where to lay her because she said she'll be laid in Machakos. Mm. Well and good. The same way when I say Erica will be laid in Machakos is the same way we are fighting for Kevin to be laid in Moranga. Mm-hmm. Yes. So all we want is for Kevin to be laid to rest here. That is yes, that is all we want. Because I'm with Shosho here. Uh-huh. And she's also concerned about Kevin's properties. Which property? The house that is there. You know those are matters they should go to court about. Because they don't even know what's going on. There's so much going on behind the door. But have you reached out to Shosho because I'm thinking if you I have I have the... like, that's what I'm saying I have been trying for long and that's what I'm telling you I can't discuss these things right now Wamesema wamekuwa wakikupigia Umekuwa ukipigiwa simu hakuna Hawa ni kutanganya Mhm mm. mara moja hakuna Mimi kama auntie ya Kevin naweza uliza Catherine Catherine wewe ni nani kwetu? Ni kwa nini unatesa mamangu na unaona ni mzee? Ni kwa nini wewe huwezi taka sisi familia tuamue venye tunataka ni kwa sababu Kevin hawezi perekwa rangata tukiwa na shamba ya kumuzika hatuwezi itikia na hatuwezi Guys, welcome to today's episode of Tales of Wanjiku and yes, Tales of Wanjiku is back by popular demand and the story today brings me all the way to Muranga where I will be visiting one family and I'm sure majority of you now are aware of this accident that happened that involves the passing of Instagram model Shan, a gentleman by the name Kevin and his daughter Erica. But now it appears there is a conflict between Kevin's family and Erica's grandmother and few questions that are people are asking number one why is it that Erica's grandmother wants Kevin to be buried in Langata where else his mother has been laid to rest here in Moranga and also why is it that she's still living in Kevin's house and she will not let Kevin's family access the property and of course I did get in touch with her and she promised to extensively share her side of the story but by the time we were filming and by the time I got to speak to her she also alleged that Kevin's uncle was lying to the family Kevin uncle disputes all that and also she asked which properties are you guys talking about but 
how is she still in that house if at all she does not understand what properties people are talking about we will also be hearing from Muffin's mother Muffin is a girl that has been cyber bullied by so many people and the mother will be talking to us about her daughter and also her relationship with Kevin and I always say the essence of Tales of Wanjiko is to make sure that justice is served so we can always assure you that once we touch a story we will not rest until justice has been served so uh, stay tuned listen in on a couple of people that we interviewed here in Muranga and I hope as uh, Erica's grandmother promised she can also give us her side of the story we tried calling Patricia Erica's mother a couple of times but of course she did not pick our calls and I'm really waiting for their side of the story but for now let's listen in and of course to always thank Maridadi for driving us and trusting this process with us my name is Joy Wamboy but Paul no me as Muffin Mongai Jia Instagram Majina Muffin He'll talk at high school. What talking about fun? Can you come to my to my queen cakes? So mm. people started calling me Muffin. Okay. So, apa pe yetu ko ni kwa shosh ya Kevin. The reason we are here. So na unajua shosh. Eh, namjua. Eh, what kind of a person is she? Well, he accepts so people mean na venda to na venda. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. The reason we are here today mm. ni kuna shida Kevin bado hajazikwa. Atam Erica Badwaja Zikon. Mm. Now the issue is uh, the side of the baby mama who was not in the picture when I knew Kevin. Sai wa mkujwa me claim yendo bibi ya Kevin na wa mchukua permit mwili yake kila kitu wao ndo wana follow up. So wanapanga kuzika Kevin Langat. Mm -hmm. Which is weird juma ma Kevin na mziko huko. Na Kevin Amish tu akiongelea mama yake every single time alikuwa tunaongelea my mama my mom so the best thing sisi tunaweza mfanyia ni kumzika kando ya mama yake mm -hmm. which has become an issue with the side of the baby mama mm. what do they want they want okay their excuse is wanasema ti Kevin akiziko huko ni mbali ati watu wakitaka kumuona ni distance ati langata ndo watu wengi wamtukana Nairobi but in my point of view one at card certificate because they want to inherit Kevin's vitu zenye aliachiona mama yake mhm isi ni vitu gani tunaongelelea the house he had a, a couple of houses shamba za zauko tika eh mm. Kevin in October last year nje Westlands tulikuwa tumetoka Bahama Bridge kulikuwa na concert mm -hmm. But sasa walika hapo kwa gari walikuwa tu wanaeka music wana wanafinya venye watu who make noise na gari so kulikuwa na hiyo connection <laughs> so nikaenda huko nikangoja phone call yake alikuwa anakuja kuni visit job like every single time alikuwa ananiambia excuse me amekuja garage sijui ameenda yaya but alikuwa anakuja kuniona job na hadi alikuwa anakuja na Erica mm. the daughter yes mm -hmm. she was amazing she was such a good soul Mazishi ndo ikue ikuje ikue issue. Yes kutulitoka kwa nyumba. Okay the night before Kevin hakuwa ana He wasn't in his right mind. Ju tulienda out akakunywa. Alikuwa anashinda tu akisema ati anaona mama yake akimwongelesha. Even the days before alikuwa anashindwa kulala na niambia ati anaona mama yake kwa dream. So he never used to sleep alikuwa na lala mchana. So you the day before akaenda akakunywa akakunywa alafu akalala akaamka 3 the full hiyo friday aliamka 3 mchana akaamka tu akasema ama tuende Mombasa Kevin alikuwa tu ana make decisions out of nowhere na uweze mwambie hapana ukimwambia hapana ataenda bila wewe <laughs> so akasema tungoje mamu so atoke shule twende coast tukatoka tukachukua gari tukaenda car wash tukaenda bank aka withdraw uh -huh. And then tukarudi home kuchukua mtoto. Akaniambia anaita best friends wake so pe mimi niita best friend yangu. So mm -hmm. I called Shan Wanita. Mm -hmm. Akaniambia niko na boyfriend yangu kama kuna space yake tu. Sh Shan is your best friend. She was my best friend. 
So when they came, to learn the journey around Sambili. Eh. Yeah, Jioni. Eh. Mm -hmm. Well, kwa msemo wata drive in interval. Kevin a driver di machakos alafu ape best friend yake ane tu adon aendele ku drive. Kufika po salama ndo akaluz siji alifanya nini. Like hakuwa anajua kuna bend. Akatoka kwa barabara, akaenda kwa i pavement. So akihepa pavement, ali, ni kama alitoka na force. So akaenda, anangalia sasa ile saidi ya barabara, wall. Akiangalia wall, akajaribu tena kutan, aondokea wall, arudi kwa barabara, gari kanza kutan. Siku sikia sauti ya mtu yote kwa gari, yata siizi kuexplain yyo yu, time nini nilikuwa ina happen. But siku wa conscious, nilirushwa, siju nilitokea na dirisha gani, but nilirushwa nje ya dirisha. Juu ni kiamka, nilijipata, niko kwa kahil, gari ilistopia mali pale chini, nikaona mwili ya shan, imelala hapo. Na ya Kevin, ilikuwa imelala hapo kando ya gari. Uh, best friend ya Kevin, alikuwa metoka, alikuwa mepeleka Erika Husi. And then I don't know what happened after that. I guess nilizima tutena. Tuka kujiwa na probox, ilikuwa na maskari. Nile yenye niko rada alafu siko rada but walieko kwa boot nilikuwa nasikia Kevin akijaribu ku alikuwa na strain ku breathe kufika hosi si tukapelekwa room different tudungwe masindano za uchungu Kevin waliekwa kwa room ya kwanza yeye yeah, yeah, na Shan but i think Shan wasn't breathing atujai kachi ni tukonge story na boyfriend yake juu yendo alimpata wa kwanza so me after kudungwa sindano ni kamka, ni tulikuwa na friend ya Kevin na ito wakata, ni kamambia kata ni shikilie, sikuwa neza kutembea ni mgu. Ni kamambia kata ni peleke nyende ni oni Kevin. Kata akanza kulia, haka niambia ache hizo maku, hizi muona sayo, ni kamuliza una niambia nini. Kata mnani? Alikuwa badu friend ya Kevin. Eh. Hmm. Haka niambia maafa ache hizo, hizi muona sayo, ni kamuliza mbona. Sin kamambia siya kutui room, utanishikilia tu ntafika, kaniambia usiki wa mepeleka Kevin Mog, hame tuwaja, tukanza kulie. Kutoka hapo siku mbukini nili happen juu, tulipelekwa kwa ambulance, tulete Erika Mpisha. Time tulifika Mpisha. Um, I don't want to say Kate didn't show any concern for Kevin, but... Who is Kate? Kulisa. Oh, Kate is the mom to the baby mama. The mother in... the mama... Mama ya Patricia. Shosho ya Erika. Yes. Okay. But inaeleweka cuz it was in a rush kupeleka Erika. But even after that alikuja kuniona word but hakuniuliza anything about Kevin. So ndo tukiwa hosi tukapigiwa simu tukambiwa amevunja mlango yetu ya room. Sasa hapo ndo nikaanza kujiuliza maswali. Tupeleke pole pole. Mm -hmm. Shosho ya Erika amevunja mlango ya room eh, room ya nani room yenye tulikuwa tunalala na Kevin kwa hii nyumba sasa iko mm. riverside ya Kevin mm. okay mm. nikauliza ni nani alinipigia i think ni kazini ya Kevin mm. nikamuuliza mbona wamevunja wanatafuta akaniambia ti wamechukua papers zote wewe utakuja tukujionea so ndo nikaka nikaanza tukujiuliza maswali nika nika inaitwa ku join the dot eh. eh tulikuwa tunaishi na umama but kuna vitu pia zilikuwa weird na sasa ndo zimeanza ku make sense uh -huh. cuz kama kwa nyumba hatukuwa tunakula food hata Kevin alikuwa anaamka anasema anasikia nja na mwambie acha nikusavie kitu amepika ananiambia hapana kama kuna smokies nipikie food ilikuwa na chumbi mingi na si once tutamjukia tumwambie eh chumvi hii utatuua nayo anasema eh walai kesho nitajaribu kupima the following day bado ni the same case but kevin alikuwa ananiambia ti akikula sante explanaje alikuwa na feel weird vitu ni weird mm. azinata anaweza fanya tu kitu alafu hajui hajui mbona amefanya ah mm. so kevin aliacha kukula home aliacha kula home. Mostly uh -huh. hata tulikuwa tunaenda kula hapo around home kunaitwa office park. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nani walipokea mwili ya Kevin? The first person I called was my mom. Uh -huh. Mamangu 
akapigia uncle ya Kevin kuna uncle ya Kevin tulikuwa tunaenda kuona tika so uncle ya Kevin venye aliambiwa yendo alicommunicate kwa the family kwa shushu i family mm. sasa mm -hmm. but sasa kuna a cousin to Kevin mm. aka communicate na kids but wakambiwa wakapigwa na shairika wakambiwa wasitoe mwili hadi afike mm. so wao kufika akasema ti Patricia ndo bibi yendo ako na right ya ku receive the body eh na ndo apo ndo akapewa hizo makaratasi mimi nilichukua shusha ya Kevin tukaenda KU you know you are not allowed to see the body mm. ati had to pick up Patricia apeni rusa tuone mwili Shosho ya Kevin. Shosho ya Kevin. Akuruhusiwa kwenda. Mm -mm. We had to ask for permission from Patricia. Shosho alikuwa aje. Alikuwa devastated. Nani alimuitisha permission? The lady at, at the reception akatwambia hata kama si ni familia hatuwezi ingia hadi mwenye ameandikwa kwa hiyo paper apeane ruhusa. Mm. So they they tried calling Patricia ndo akasema kama ni ya Kevin mkubalisheni amuone lakini makaratasi sita leta ati amezieka ata space uh -huh. so already walikuwa ameshaweka Patricia sasa mm. yeye ndio bibi ya Kevin yes. turudi kwa relationship yako na Kevin mm -hmm. mmekuwa ina relationship for how long for eight months in those eight months alikuwa na relationship na Patricia bado mm. walikuwa aje hawa kwa wanaongea hata actually siku ya birthday ya mtoto sisi ndo tulienda kutafuta Patricia Kevin alikuwa amemkasirika akamuuliza wewe hata birthday unangoja tu nipange au tayari atakaa tu chini uamue acha nifanye mtoto wangu birthday moja I talked to Patricia personally nika convince nika mwambia eh hey babe unaona Kevin ana jam you how make any effort kuja birthday I'm the one who convinced her to come to the birthday uh -huh. mm -hmm relationship yako na Erika ilikuwaje We were very close. Ata nilikuwa na oga nikienda kuvaa nguo Erika na kuja na niambia kwa unava dress. I'm also wearing a dress. Uh -huh. We used to go together everywhere. Uh -huh. You spent a lot of time together. A lot of time. Okay. Mulikuwaje na shosho ya Erika? Relationship yenu tulikuwa very okay hata tungekaa tu kwa kitchen si wote tunasikiza music akikunywa bia nini hata tunasengenya mtoto wake mnasengenya mm, Patricia anasema venye amejaribu kum ku make a quest straight yani amembembeleza mtaisema am, aje a quest serious na life mm. but akasema ali give up na alikuwa anambia Kevin tu abali wasichana wote amekuwa na wao mimi ndo anaona niko poa na Erika so she she also accepted me no understand hata na shanga mbona tuko na issues issues mko nazo ni gani hizo za kwenye Kevin na Taziko mumeongeleshana mm tulienda meeting hadi na lawyers but ilikuwa tu chaos ni wao wanaongea side yao ya ya story ya bibi o what to work on wangu tungekaa chini tuelewane sasa hata Kevin ongekuwa shaziko uongo gani wako nayo The first line kusema Patricia alikuwa wai. Na Patricia alisema ati amekuwa kishi kwa hiyo nyumba. Na hata hiyo siku tukienda Mombasa ati Kevin alikuja akamwambia anaenda road trip na mtoto. Is that the truth? It is not the truth. Alikuwa anakuja kwa hiyo nyumba. Alikuja to skip birthday once. Amekuja once in those eight months na mjua Kevin. Okay. Wao walikuwa naishi kwa hiyo nyumba. Yes. Na Kevin. Mhm. Mm hii nyumba inaongelelewa ni nyumba gani ni nyumba inakaaje na mbona hii nyumba sasa iko na story ni apartment iko riverside three bedroom uh -huh. story hata kuna story story ni asha kuwa comfortable so and kakwenda kuishi kama ni kwake juu kuna time Kevin alikuwa anamwambia atoke time hakutoka Kevin akamwambia kama unaendelea kukaa itabidi tuendelee kushare bills So hata hizo vitu ndo niliona anajitetea nazo akisema she was also paying service charge and all but si ati alikuwa analipa juu anataka she was she was asked to pay cuz anafaa kulipia mali anaka aha uh -huh. alikuwa anaishi part gani ya hii nyumba alikuwa anaishi kwa bedroom ya Raipi 
mama ya Kevin mama ya Kevin mm. vitu za mama Kevin ziko huko ziko huko kuna zenye washaiguza siwal kwa naguza kila kitu um three weeks before to amwa kwenda coast there's a lady who came looking for kids akasimama kwa gate alikuwa anashinda kipiga simu kwa nyumba anasema anataka kuongea na baba Erika akakuja akasema she wants to talk to Kate cause tangu ahame alikuwa anafanyia Kate kazi akakuja akatuambia akaambia Kevin you know when she moved in Kevin ndesemaje hakuwa anajua kila kitu ya mama yake so Kate alikuja akamconvince vitu ziko kwa nyumba ni zake the lady came and told Kevin nikisaidia au mama kuhama alikuja tu na kitanda na nguo zake kwa hivyo hizi vitu zote unaona huko ni za mama yako That's weird. Very weird. It's very weird. Do you think Kate anataka properties za Kevin? I don't think I know. So. You know so. Where well, what do you want? I want first of all Kevin to be laid. At apumzike tu. Watu wakitaka kuvutania hizo ni vitu za dunia na ziwisha lakini waache kuvutania mwili wa Kevin because we don't have an issue when they bury Erica it's okay but as for Kevin watch it while I and mama and Kevin told you this yes anyone when you watch na me misjudge and they are saying wa chane na nani Patricia Amon mtoto wake na Kevin in peace what do you have to say i don't have an issue with Patricia hata kuna kitu ya kukuwa na an issue about me if I, she wants to mourn in peace she should also let the family to mourn in peace cuz kila mtu ako na the side of the story all right so i i hope everything works well for you i know this is not easy but your greatest wish sai nini my wish oh. will be for kevin to be buried next to the mom cuz he always talked about the mom yeah hata ni kitu too obvious Hakuna venye anaweza pelekwa langata na ameishi tu kumis mama yake na mama yake kwa hapa. And all the property that he left zinafaa kurudi kwa shosho. Cuz that's the mom to the mom. Yes. All right. I I know this is not easy and to be honest I wish you all the best. And I know you've been caught up in a situation yenye you shouldn't be and I hope you heal. You survived for a reason. I'll heal after his burial. We'll heal after his burial. Yeah, so guys, before I move to show show ya Kevin, allow me to talk to a friend that has known Kevin for a long time so that she can be able to walk us through do to understand exactly who Kevin was. Janet, you are ready? Uh, my name is Janet mm-hmm. and um and I'm an old childhood friend. I grew up with Kevin in Jamhuri. I reached out because I felt that he needed justice. Why? Because um I don't like how things are going. Uh because I don't understand why Kevin should be laid in Langata yet he has a home whereby the mom is laid in Moranga. So I'm thinking it is his right to be laid next to the mother because even when you talk to him he would say mimi hata nikikufa nizikwe kando ya mamangu because he was brought up by the mom and he loved the mom so much so he would talk about the mom most of the time so he would say mimi hata nikikufa I just want to be laid next to my mom so I don't understand why anafa kubai wa shimu uh, cemetery because Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe what when you can go is people who don't have land. So yeah, I don't understand that. So you've known Kevin for a long time. Yeah, I've, I met Kevin when I was like 15. Oh, yes. You did you ever get to interact with the mom? Yes, I did. What kind of a woman? She, she was big hearted just like Kevin. Just like Kevin. She used to love people. and even in their home so i don't understand why that now he's gone people don't have even access to the house because when kevin died i believe mtu akikufa you meet where the person was living or where the mom was staying but when kevin died it's different that 
we've never stepped foot in that house. We actually had to pay somewhere else whereby we are meeting as friends and it's it's not making sense. Okay. Yes. There are a few people mm. in this story. Mm. There is Muffin. Yeah. There is the late Sean. Yeah. There is the late Erica. Yes. There is the late Kevin. Kevin. Yes. And there is Don. Yes. Donna. And Carter. And, Ka and Carter. Carter, yeah. Carter. Yeah. And I know also Muffin is here. Yes. But I don't want to ask her mm. all these questions, yes. right? Yes. Yes. But I can see you're very close to her, mm. to the grandmother. Yes. Now Kevin's grandmother. Yes. And also to Muffin's mother. Yes. According to what they've told you, mm -hmm. what happened? Uh, the accident. Yes. So uh, they waited for uh, Erica to come from school. Mm -hmm. Then Kevin told a Muffin that they want to go to Mombasa. How many people were there? Seven. What car was this? TX. Okay. Yes. So what happened? So according to what I know of what I've, I've been told, rather I was interacting with Muffin, mm -hmm. is uh, that place is called? Sultan Hamoud, mm -hmm. uh, is it? Yeah, so Kevin didn't know that there was a corner. So by the time he realized that there was a corner, he saw another wall. So I think he had gone, he had drifted too much that he lost control. Mm -hmm. And then the car rolled. So a couple of times, like twice, so Muffin was thrown outside and then the rest of them rolled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then what happened? What happened is Don, who is the best friend to Kevin, had strength. And um, he checked the situation and realized that he could only take Erica, which was the daughter to Kevin. And then he carried he carried her to the nearest dispensary. When he got there, there was no facilities. So they told Don to go to the nearest police station. So when he got there, now he explained to them, while with Erica. Yes. Okay. Yes. So he took Erica. Yeah, he was carrying Erica the whole time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So when he got there, he explained to the police what had happened and then they keep on going back and forth back and forth because they have to like get the details right and then they didn't have a car at that time so they had to wait until they were taken by some pro box or something of the sort mm -hmm. yes so how did um erica land at mp mm -hmm. and kevin at ku ku mochari mm. So um, they were taken in the pro box, if I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And then Erica had to be taken to Mpisha ICU. I think for me, I feel like uh, Patricia, who is it? Kate, the, the mother-in-law, mm -hmm. was concerned about the granddaughter other than Kevin. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. So Erica was taken to the ICU and then Kevin was later transferred to KU, which I don't know why. Uh -huh. Yes. Who claimed the body? Who claimed the body? Yes. And how comes mm -hmm. Patricia, mm. who is the baby mama, mm. who is Erica's mother, mm. has now the permits mm -hmm. and not Kevin's grandmother? Patricia claimed the body. And then, the uh, according to her, she said the person who called her said that the only person who can identify the body is a spouse. In this case, there's no spouse because according to what I know, and the whole time that they were dating Kevin and Patricia, they were not legally married. So she cannot be pronounced as the spouse. Mm -hmm. So Patricia took um, the permits and everything, so she was one calling the shots. And Muffin? Because Muffin was the girlfriend too. She was a lead the whole time, yeah. So where are we with the paperwork right now? So the paperwork is they've, they've been going to court back and forth, back and forth. So now there's, there's an injunction whereby the body cannot be accessed. Like nobody can access the body now until the court case is done. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you guys have gone to court? Yes. Okay. Yes. Talk to me about Kevin's grandmother. Mm -hmm. We are at her place right now. Mm. What does she know? Mm. Uh, what is going on mm. and how come she cannot bury her grandson mm. next to her daughter's grave? Well, that is still undissolved because I, st I also don't understand why she cannot bury the grandchild yet. It's in her right to do it. So the reason why she cannot do it as per, per now is because Patricia is the one holding the permits. 
since we are trying to do this legally. Mm. Yes. But according to how things are going, I don't think the court is is like how am I going to put it? Is in on our favor. Mm. Yes. This Patricia you keep mentioning yes. is Erica's mother. Yes. But the person that was taking care of Erica yes. is Kate, yeah. the grandmother, yes. who is Patricia's mother. Yes. How did Kate end up mm -hmm. taking care of Erica mm -hmm. and not Patricia? Um Trisha is quite is quite I don't understand her personally because mm -hmm. I feel like me being a mom, I can say she's a responsible mother. Because in most cases, even whereby you have conflicts between you and your partner, you, women always carry their children. So I don't understand to what point that you leave your child with a man. You understand? So in this case, uh, she left Erica and Kevin took upon himself to raise Erica. Mm -hmm. So Kate came in the picture to help Kevin raise Erica, mm -hmm. yes. So she came into the picture to help Kevin raise Erica. Yeah, because the daughter is responsible. So does that mean she moved in? Yes, she did move in. Yes. From where? I have no idea because I don't. I've never heard of a place where by his own. Of I don't think she ever had a house personally. I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then how come she took care of Erica? all along why couldn't she help and then let kevin take care of erica um there's a time that kevin was in prison so since trisha could not take care of the daughter the grandmother had to step in uh -huh. yes kevin was in prison yes for two years why he was accused of rape him and another individual uh -huh. yes so he was sentenced for two years not really sentenced because mm. he served for two years while uh he served for two years while he met muffin who's actually on probation when he met now muffin yes to uh -huh. his to his to his account uh, he was on probation uh -huh. yes uh, how would he talk about his mother or how did he deal with the loss of his mother and how did the mother pass personally i'd say everything crumbled to like for kevin because the person i know kevin and the person that to his death are two different people I think that's where everything changed. He uh -huh. became totally different person because personally when I cuz he disappeared for some time and then I was asking where is Kevin? Where is Kevin? Yeah. Then of course stories would go about where oh Kevin is in prison, Kevin is in prison. Then I asked why is he in prison for rape? I was like I'm not going to say he did it or he didn't do it, but that's not the person I know. Uh -huh. So I would wait for him then I'd ask him myself. So from the moment that Kevin's mom died he changed. He became a complete like it's like personally I would say he lost it. Yeah. Was he into alcohol? That's his 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 escape was alcohol. Uh huh. Yeah, I would say his escape was alcohol and women. Alcohol and women. Yeah. What would he say about his mother? Um, since he grew up with only the mom, he would he talk about the mom every time like things like if if my mom was here, this would have been different. If my mom was here, this would have been different. Yeah. Most times he would even say he would wish to just be with the mom. Uh -huh. Yeah. He would say that. Yes. How did the mom pass, if you know? Or she, why? She died of cancer. Okay. Yes. And then she left everything. Yeah, she left everything to Kevin. This now includes the house. Yes. Patricia, uh, Kate is staying in. Yes. You mentioned you guys are not now allowed to that house. You've never been allowed to that house ever since Kevin died. Have you attempted to go? Yes. Um, the second last candle lighting that I was leading. So after the meeting of where we were, because we, we got a place on Gong Road mm. called Tails and something. That's where we were meeting up. So after the meeting, I told people that I don't think it's right the fact that we're not having access to the house. So I told people after this, we should go to Kevin's house. And when we went there, she was peeping from the from the balcony when people are outside. So me and my friends, we lit candles outside the gate. And to a point that neighbor Kevin was trying to enter the gate that time, he, they couldn't open the gate because people were there. Mm. Simply the watchmen are just doing what they are told. Kevin's relationship with now Patricia's mm. mother or Erica's grandma, mm. how was it according to you? 
it was against his will that's one because even attempts that being sober or not he would come and actually open the door and tell her to leave and she would not so the only reason that Kevin kept up with all that including the baby mama was because of Erica uh-huh. yes who has the legal custody of Erica as per now as per now or according to what you know according to what i know it was Kevin mhm because he's the only person who looks like he was okay to take care of Erica mm. so according to what i know i would think um if Kevin is not because he's not here it should be the grandmother yeah that's why i was saying uh, we tried to like have a conversation whereby we should not separate them since they died together but i feel like we can't win on that because it's their child Erica now yeah Erica now mm. Trisha can get to decide that because it's her right because that she it's her daughter and the show can also decide that because mm-hmm. that's the granddaughter mm-hmm. yes but for Kevin I don't think even according to the law it approves her to decide where he should be buried so now who is staying in that house it's uh, Kate and the daughter Patricia yes she's back in the house yes which is weird Okay. Yes. I talked to Muffin yes. and Muffin said she was also staying in that house. Yes, yes. Has there been moments where Muffin, Patricia, Kate and Kev have stayed in the same house mm-hmm. or has there been moments where Patricia moved into that house? No. She only went there once and and when Muffin had to go and beg her to be present on Erica's birthday. How is Muffin? She's a very good girl. Uh-huh. And should spend I, I would say that I know many people don't like this but I feel like Muffin has spent more time with Erica than Trisha has apart from the 9 months that she was in her stomach uh-huh. yes how is she coping well we are emotionally wired but she has to be strong because if she doesn't there's no one else who's going to do this uh-huh. yes some few people are saying this shouldn't be her business she should let Patricia mourn the father to her daughter and her daughter in peace what do you think what i think is um people deal with grief differently yes yes she has the right to to it because why would trisha be allowed to call the shots yet she was not present you understand like the only reason trisha came is because she was told what happened in regardless if kevin was alive and erica was alive would not be talking about Trisha. Mm-hmm. So why it's Muffin who's been there the whole time? She has all the rights to. Yes. Does she have any interest in these properties A B C D all does she have any interest in this? My opinion? Yeah. Yes, because Muffin uh, now. Muffin. Yes. No. She has nothing to gain cuz she's okay. She's okay? Yes. She's uh, she's well she's better than even that Kate herself. Uh-huh. Yes. And Patricia Do you think she has any interest in of the Of course prop- she has interest because the mother is the main she's leading it so yes she has. And the thing is I feel like um Trisha is not even speaking much so I don't want to put so much weight on her because she's saying actually very less. The mom is the one who's calling the shots. You understand? Uh-huh. She it's like she's being controlled. She's being told what she, everything that she says has to come from the mother. Uh-huh. You understand? Yeah. Are you worried they might finally bury Kevin in Langata I'm not worried as per se now because there's a court injunction whereby yes. the body can not be removed from KU but I don't think even according to the law that's right because one Shoshoako and it's in her rightful place actually to decide mm. for Erica like I said earlier the mom can decide where to lay her because she said she'll be laid in Machakos mm. well and good the same way when I say Erica will be laid in Machakos is the same way we are fighting for Kevin to be laid in Moranga mm-hmm. yes so all you want is for Kevin to be laid to rest here that is yes that is all we want shosho hi shosho she's a very good woman mm-hmm. yes hi she copy do is, you feel like she's been sidelined yes she's been sidelined and she that's why we stepped in cuz From the beginning the fact that she didn't talk much they thought maybe Kevin doesn't have people to fight for mm-hmm. so I'm sure even in this is in her this they disbelieve the fact that there are actually people who are fighting for Kevin uh-huh. yes if Patricia's mom is watching what questions do you have for her when does this all end like when does this all end Kevin didn't have peace in his own mom's house from we all know that and there are so many people who can actually witness that right 
he's out of the picture all we want is for him to be laid that's like his permanent home you still want to decide you still want to lock him even in his spirit i don't understand that mm -hmm. yeah okay so i'm gonna call her mm. right now mm. and just hear what she has to say you ready yeah okay so I personally DM'd her mm. because I wanted to hear her side of the story. Mm. I've also left her a message on TikTok and now I have her number mm. so that we can call her mm. and see what she has to say. Okay. Hopefully she answers. Okay. Hello. Hello Kat, how are you? Fine. Uh, my name is Lynn Gugi. Is who? Lynn Gugi. Uh -huh. I'm a journalist. Oh, Lynn Gugi. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, now okay. I'm calling you on record because I'm following Kevin's story. Uh-huh. Nani kwa uku kwa shosho yake. Kwa? Shosho yake. Uh-huh. Uku muranga. Oh. I've spoken to them and they are alleging that you want to bury Kevin in Langata. Okay, you know, I'm... I'm doing something right now. I'm in the middle of something. Okay. I, and I can't discuss that story over the phone. Hey. Yeah, it's a, quite a deep story. How would you want us to discuss it so that I'm able to air with your opinion on the same? I, do, I, I don't know what you mean when you ask me that. No, I, I just want clarity on whether mm -hmm. you want Kevin to be buried in Langata and not why here in Muranga. That's all okay, I'm asking. You know what? You know, this was Kate. A story. Let me tell you, I'm Kofupi. Yes. I'm going to tell you Kofupi. Yes. When Kevin died, yeah, I tried to contact these people mm. to tell them and to 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 talk to them about Byron Kevin. Mm -hmm. Their cousin, mm. they, 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 his, her grandson, mm. Kevin's, uh, Kevin's cousin, mm. his name is um, Stephen Murote. Hey. kept lying to me mm. that, oh, he's going to give me Shosho's number. Mm. I would ask him every day for Shosho's number mm. so that we talk. Mm. You to do the way forward. Mm. Murote kept on lying to me. Mm. Ikafika, at now the Monday... Um, you know the dates are lost for me. It's the okay. Monday after, they died on a Saturday. Yeah. When he died Friday, my granddaughter died on Saturday. Mm. Then the whole week he kept lying to me. Mm. He asking me for money. Mm. When I told him, I'm that, not saying that you Muroto. Any more money. Huh? That Muroto. Muroto. Murote. Murote. My grandson. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh huh. And you know this matter has been in court. No, I I know I have the paper. You yes, know, Kate, yes. Mm -hmm. Kate, so the they reason even withdrew because these guys were being fun. No, Kate, the reason me I called you, you know, it's important yeah. for me to get your side of the story because the story is it's already true. out there. But now, Aki, you've caught me at a wrong time. Okay. At a number one No worries. You All I needed at, at no. a completely wrong time. It's a long story. I wish you can call me later. I give you my side of the story when I'm relaxed. What or time? If would... this is your number, let me finish what I'm doing. I'll call you. What time would you want me to call you? I'm, I don't know how long this is taking. There's a shoot taking place, mm. and I'm in part of that. I'm in the shoot. Okay, so can so I ask you? So we are just starting. Okay, so can, can it, no, I can't. Uh, I can't. I don't know what okay. time it will be over, but I'll call you back. Okay, can I ask you one last question before you go? Uh -huh. Shosho, yeah. cause I'm with Shosho here. Uh -huh. And she's also concerned about Kevin's properties. Which property? The house that is there. You know, those are matters they should go to court about. Because they don't even know what's going on. There's so much going on behind the door. But have you reached out to Shosho? Because I'm thinking if you I have... I have. The... Like, that's what I'm saying. I have been trying for long. And that's why I'm telling you I can't discuss these things right now. But Kate, let me ask you. Even okay, if, Lynn, but no, no, now Lisa took a uzuri. Which is okay. Now Lisa took a uzuri. Kama shosho uh -huh. ako hapa na shosho ndiyo pia familia Kevin. Lynn, Lynn, can I talk to you when I'm done? No worries. Because you're getting one side of the story. No, and, and that's why I called you. you. No, that's when why I called. When I'm done, there's okay. something I'm doing. No worries. I'll wait for your yeah, call. Yeah, I will call you back. I'll Sorry. wait for your call. Yeah, Sasa. I know you, Lynn. I watch your stuff and all that. I, I even follow you. I that's appreciate it. Subscribe to your I channel. I know you, it. and uh, and I respect you. Okay, so just, I will get back. Yeah, to you. just call me back. We get all the sides yeah. of the story. Let me finish okay. okay. I'll call you all back. All right, bye. Yeah. Okay. okay,
Yeah, so guys, I was trying to call Patricia. As you heard, I was uh, on a call with the mama. That is Kate. Or I think it's Kate. Cut, cut, cut or Kate. Yeah, so now I'll invite Shosho so that she can also tell us what is going on. I'll also try calling her back and she has also promised to call me back because it's important we hear all these details. So I chat to Shosho Kwanza and then I'll speak to Mama Muffin about her daughter. Hey, so, so. Yeah. You okay? I'm here with Shosh and also Mama Kevin's, um, the sister to Kevin's mother. So we also, she's here because she will also be translating for us. Shosh is not fluent in Swahili and I hope all of you can understand. So I'll just start asking Shosh one question from that call I had with Mama Patricia. Shosho, habariyako. Buzuri, bebe unaitu wanani? Naitu Teresia Wanjiro Irongo. Na wewe ndiyo mza, wewe ndiyo shosho ya Kevin. Eee. Eh. 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 Asanti kwa kutukaribisha. Eee. Eh. Nikona swali moja tu. Uh -huh. Nataka kuuliza. Uh -huh. Wamesema wamekuwa wakikupigia. Umekuwa ukipigiwa simu? Hakuna. Hawa ni kutanganya. Uh -huh. mm. Ata mara moja. Nakwana. Tahu dulu ni ada di le gerak dua kuah madie, dua macam ni naik lagi. Gemera madie kau, ni kau tu kau tu kau boleh sera. Eli le show jago tika kita mudah kevin ni oku gerak gate. Apo? Ami semanu. Mami ami semanu. Ah, ni kau tu kau dikupa. Sisi tu naik singgi naik lagi. Akan tu ambil tu ende, kuat sista ye tu tu ende. Matanga uko. Kita naik akan ambil soja. Familia ya kina Kevin ni sijaribu kuingia kwa hiyo gate. So jadi wa ni mulienda mpaka kwa gate? Tulienda atu kuingia. Muli katazwa? Eee. Eh. Eh. So shosho aliwatuma? Shosho alikumami ya lisema tuende. Uh -huh. Ndiyo tujue matanga inaendelea aje na tufanyie matanga huko ni kwa sababu hiyo ndiyo nyumba ya Kevin na ya sister yetu. Haya narudi kuwako mm. utueleze zaidi kuhusu sister ako. Mm. Mutani samea ni ulize shush, swali tu moja. So, soe, ureda mwana adhi kuku? Ureda adhi kuku kuhuliki itamami wao. So, I just asked shush where she would want Kevin to be buried and she's categorical. She wants Kevin to be buried next to the ma. Mother. Hawe mami wao. Hapo. Eee. Azikuwe hapo. Eee, todo ni meda ni ita muna na mami wao. They loved each other with the mother. Hmm. Fio. Hmm. Family area, Egi, mm. the other family, mm. Ureda Kumera, what do you want to tell them? You told me, my name is Maudu, the Magiri Yeto Sakai. They were at the Kirenue, Mwene Madiko. Nani did get a care of a great Madiko Marco. A girl Kirago Kumusi, walk on a daria Kinya, on a door in Naku. Okay, Ule hatu kukizika siyana isi ya siyeri. No daiga na kuka. Shosh isei ni? Na nire la daigu ili ya neagiri ya. Adwa kwa kwa igira kuhu. Giuga. Onani. Neamena. So what Shosh just said is that Erika's grandmother has refused for her to mourn her grandson. And the best thing for Erica's grandmother to do would have been to come here so that they brainstorm on how she would bury her grandson and her great granddaughter. So, so, thank you. Do you reckon? Shosho wants to say something else. We are looking for a karaoke. Joseph karaoke. Joseph karaoke. Mara ikaraka na Kevin, kumere ya Kevin yu mire jera. Matulita na kenyo beo na niya igatiru. Ona kevadege yake na aguesi yake. Siyo ze inyo beo. No, amu igatire. Eke, eka zirini. So, Shosh says. Na kehorone soja. So, Shosh is saying, Kevin's cousin, Karyoki, was staying with Kevin from the day Kevin came from prison. And he was chased out of the house. His ID, his clothes, all the things are there. Na niamuri heile driving ya duzi. 
na riu githomo kiu kiori rathi tondu ni Kevin warihire cousin yake and Kevin had paid for the cousin i ended driving ya motorbike and now all that is gone ni sawa ni tukwaria na Kariuki in the meantime wacha yeah. niongee na msichana yeah. atueleze kuhusu Aya. mama Kevin si yeah. sawa okay mimi naitwa Naomi Rongo mimi ni mtoto wa Teresia Wanjiru Rongo na ni sistake mama Kevin okay mm. we ni namba mimi ni namba 8 so we ni mdogo wake mimi ni mdogo wake shosh amejaribu kutueleza kuhusu mama Kevin mm. lakini kama dada yake mm. unaweza tuambia nini kuhusu your late sister mimi kama dada yake Mary Wangui Wanjiru mm. Mary Wangui Rongo mm. uh, tumezaliwa na mama yetu tumelewa pamoja tumegrupa pamoja tukifunga shule tulikuwa yeye ni mkubwa wetu alikuwa anatuchukua tunaenda kwake tunakaa tunakaa huko alafu tena anaturudisha so yeye anaweza kusema mimi medive nyalizanga Kevin mimi nimelea Kevin sana 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 tukiwa Kawangware tukiwa Motherland tukiwa Multipole tukiwa High Rise tukiwa Jamhuri tumeishi huko sana. Mm-hmm. So tuko na husuni ni kwa sababu unaona Kevin sasa ameenda. Mm. Najua ameenda na mama yake alienda. Na hakuna mtu mwenye anaweza amka yeye ama mama yake aseme yenyewe nyinyi Catherine na mtoto wako mnafanya vibaya kufanya hivi. That's why wanafanya hii maneno mm. ya kukataza mwili ya Kevin ikuje wapi? Ikuje huko. Mm. So mimi kama auntie ya Kevin naweza uliza Catherine Catherine wewe ni nani kwetu ni kwa nini unatesa mamangu na unaona ni mzee ni kwa nini wewe huwezi taka sisi familia tuamue venye tunataka ni kwa sababu Kevin hawezi perekwa rangata tukiwa na shamba ya kumzika hatuwezi itikia na hatuwezi that's why tukaenda kutini na tutakakisi tuka tukatoa witness yetu tukafanya kila kitu. Mm. Shosh ames niliuliza nili Shosh huyu mm. kit venye nimeongea na kwa simu mm. amesema ali, amewatafuta na amewapigia mm. na amewatafuta sana. Mm. Mm. Amewatafuta. Kadhiri hajawahi piga simu ama kutafuta mtu. Hata hakuwahi kutujulisha about Kevin amekufa. Awache uongo. Ni kwa sababu walipanga walifungua whatsapp hawakutu add kwa group hawakutuambia matanga ma, ma inaendelea hivi na hivi so venye si tulienda tulikatarishwa kuingia kwa gate si tulirudi tu mulienda mkakatazo mm, nani soja akasema hey. soja alituambia eh huyo mama mwenye yako kwa hiyo nyumba which is Catherine amesema hakuna mtu atapita kwa hiyo gate kuna watu kwa nyumba mm. ni hivyo tu Ame, uh, ameongea kuhusu kazi ni yenu fulani anaitwa mu Joseph Karioke uh, uh, Murote ameongea kuhusu Murote oh. Murote mm. ame mumeongea na Murote Murote ni tunaongea na yeye eh. kabisa eh. Eh. ame ni sawa mm. kadri na amesema kazi ni yenu ndio amekuwa akimuitisha pesa ni ukweli hapa sasa siwezi jua mm kama wanaitisha nanga ama hawaitisha nangi but kenye najua Murote ashawaiambia Catherine home kuna kuja kanisa ya ule sistangu mdogo wako pale mm. na akamwambia ni lazima wapikiwe kitu na hatuna do sijui Murote alituambia aliwekewa wadha utano mm. na aliwekea mami mm. mami wakanunua vitu za kupikia o hiyo kanisa hakuna pesa zingine Catherine ashawaitishwa haya mm. saidie hiyo siri Murote yako wapi Murote I think ukimcall atash, atashika tu. Oh, Aya. Yeah. Mm. Nani yako na namba ya Murote? Ni pema. Ninayo eh 07. Eh Murote mambo? Sorry. Uko poa? Ah oh, sana. Ah um, mimi naitwa Lin Gugi. Ha? Mimi ni mwanahabari. Ah na kupigia kuhusu history ya Kevo. Ah. Uh. Cuz nimeongea na Kate, huyo Kate. Uh. 
na amedai alikuwa amekuambia ukamwambie familia kuhusu kevo lakini wewe umeku ukimuitisha tu pesa na ukufikishia familia hiyo habari Sandy unataka kujua kutoka kwako F a story story ni gani hapa Okay sasa eh kuna vile kevi naliaga eh Mrote siku skipo unaweza ongeza sauti? Nasema unanisikia? Eh nakusikia fiti. Tunaona vile vile Kevin aliaga. Eh. Ah uh, ilikuwa sasa ya asubuhi ndio tulipata habari. Mhm. Uh-huh. Uh, Adhuru anko yetu. Eh. Not true kit kwa sababu kit alinyamaza na maneno na familia za kwao. Eh. Asa. Mhm. Uh-huh tukataka kujua zaidi what happened mhm tukaenda hapo riverside mhm uh-huh. petrifika riverside mhm uh-huh. tulienda tukapata kuna watu wanaomboleza hapa tukakaa pamoja na wao mhm uh-huh. baka kitu saa moja jioni ndio tulianza ile kuomba sasa ndio sasa tujue way forward mhm uh-huh. tukapanga mhm uh-huh. nipanga sasa juu sasa njoo wao ndio walikuwa wa nika wao ndio walikuwa wengi walifomu committee hapo kidogo mhm paka ta mhm ah uh, wewe ndio utarauka asubuhi mhm ukiwa na kazi yako mwingine mhm murauke mwende sultan mhm ukuje na mweli mhm sasa mimi nikawaambia mhm tuna pesa mhm wakanipea wakanitangia 5000 mhm hiyo ndio ile kitu anasema alinitumia mhm kwa sababu yeye anataka kutaja pesa sana hiyo ndio ya kwanza hiyo hiyo 5000 hiyo 5k na si anitumia ni hiyo ni hiyo committee mhm anitumua na ule alikuwa then uh, my treasurer eh hiyo siku moja tu mimi nilifanya treasurer ni yale niwekea mhm hiyo 5000 mhm ilikuwa my transport mhm ah uh, siku meagana hiyo sasa de usiku ni mimi narauka kuchukua mwili eh na tukapangana nikivika huko mhm nitaenda salama police station nipe askari mhm uh, akuje ndio postmortem mifanye mhm niwapigie simu mhm walipe charges via till number mhm then Mm. Vile sasa nilifika huko alilala akifikiria mambo mengine. Okay sasa. Eh. Yeah. Mhm. Akaona mimi nikienda nifike nifanye hizo vitu zote ni mimi nitaandikwa hiyo bio permit. Mhm. Alipiga simu asubuhi. Mhm. Huko kwa mo, kwa, kwa mochari na kwa kwa nini? Kwa police station. Mhm. Akasema kuna kitu kitaendelea. Mm hadi yeye mwenyewe akuje mhm kumbe alibaki akitafuta huyu anaita Patricia huyu sasa mama Erika eh mhm juu yako anaishi pamoja hata ni, alikuwa anamtafuta through friend mhm amwambia mtoto ameaga na Kevin mhm sasa vile alimpata divorce cage mind mhm mimi pale nisifanye kitu ndi ni huyu atakuja kufanya mhm Asiona leo nilikuwa nimepata transport ya 5000. Mhm. Mimi siko ndo peke yangu tulienda watu wanne. Mhm. Hiyo pesa ileena na ikaishia huko hiyo yeah. transport ya baka esarama eh yeah. mali hiyo ni salama and sultan. Yes. Simena shaeka block. Eh. Yeah. Tukamngoja, tukamngoja tukiwa huko juu alishaeka block sisi tukaona tutarudi. Eh. Yeah. Ila mweli. Mhm. Uh-huh ndio yeye mwenyewe alifika na akaweza kulipa hizo hizo fee. Mm. Sasa si tukaulizana bonus tuliacha mpango ni mimi nitachukua mwili anilipie through till number umebadilika nini? Mm. So yeye mwenyewe akakaa mivo. Yeye yeah, alikuja na mama Erika. Aha. Uh-huh. Na manda mwingine mwenye aliwaleta rafiki yao. Eh. Hey. Ah mimi nikasema juzina pesa. Aha. Uh-huh itakuja jorizi ni shaji jaje something is cooking mhm itakuja kujumbe mwili toke huko mbali 
sikuje KU mimi hapo ndatuli sasa kutoka hapo nitafikiria ini inaendelea hapa chini ya maji aha sasa vile alilipa dia alikuja kuandikisha mtana wake makaratasi yote aha nini kae bi kapiga familia eh kaambia vile kunaendelea eh Nikamwambia sina na vile Kevin alikufa hatukuambiwa tulijua through a friend. Mhm. Ah, simulia na tena makatazi vile tuliacha kwa kamiti kumebadilika. Mhm. Ah, mimi nikasema ni sawa acha. Wakaniambia wewe kubali mwili ikuje KU. Mhm. Ukuja KU ilifika KU saa Sunday saa tano ya usiku. Mhm. Kwa hiyo kwa hiyo process ya kuchukuliwa mwili tukatoka around saa saba Mhm lakini sasa niona maswali ni mingi kwa kichwa yangu kwa nini kulibadilika vile niliacha mmm ah uh, mimi sasa tukaenda tukalala kesho yake mandi mmm nikapiga simu nyumbani nikamwambia vile kulienda mwili iko KU mm. tufanye namna gani mmm hiyo sasa tukaona tutatafuta kutoda mhm tusimamishe kwa sababu hiyo that was not the plan mmm hiyo sasa Ah uh, okay kuna msana wetu hapo I think umemwelewa anaitwa Wangari. Mm. Wangari sasa ni kumpia simu alikuwa naye asha report kwa chat hiyo Sunday tuko na msiba ya nephew yake. Mm. Kila sasa ilikuwa asha report chat. Mm. Chat ikasema ita report nyumbani Tuesday. Mhm. Hiyo Tuesday. Mhm. Ndio sasa ni kesha ni nilimwambia kuna maombi nyumbani Tuesday. Mhm na shosho na jakaa vizuri na mimi sina pesa. Mm. Akaniambia wacha fanya hivi nitakutumia another 5k. Mm. Pikie kanisa chai. Mm. Kesha hakuna pesa nyingine nilitumia vile anasema. Mm. Hiyo ndio alituma the two scenarios. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kwa hivyo sasa akisema kuna pesa nyingine alituma adhibitishe ni, ni gani kwa sababu hizo mbili. Mm kwanza simekwambia ni ile transport alafu ingine ni ya church alafu ingine ni ya church vile walitembea nyumbani wachukuliwe kitu ya kufunywa na kukula hivyo mmm na sisi alitumia ni tumwa na ule walifanya treasurer mmm mimi keti kutoka hapa ndio yongea tena mhm ndio niliona sasa vile plan ile change huyo mtu si mtu anania mzuri mmm ah nilikuwa sasa nimemwa nimempromise hata nita home whatsapp group tutafute pesa mimi niache kushia nikutafuta na pesa yako mmm lakini sasa vile niliona nikapata kutoka mimi hiyo group tulisimamisha hata hakuna contribution tulifanya mhm tukasimama na tukaacha mambo ya freeze juu sasa kutoka tumengangana imetoka mazizi hakuna nini hivyo mmm ah mm. uh, kutoka hapo sasa mimi nikaona mm ya uh, nitaivo familia yote mmm tujue ni nini huyu mama anataka kwa hii familia mmm ah uh, sinaona kuna ile alitafuta mtana wake hadi akampata hadi akakuja akaandikisha maneno so sainye keba na pass ah huyu kit hata ajui kwenye patrici anakaanga ajui hata alimtafuta tukiwa hapo kwa kwa kevin hiyo siku akipigia friend zake mmm na kutumia picha wa mtafute. Mhm. Kwa hivyo hata nikitoka hapo tulitoka hapo saa mbili hiyo mm. saa 3 siku. Mhm. Hakuwa amempata na through hiyo our friends alikuwa anatumia picha yake ampate. So kuma Naona. So so kumaanisha eh. Patrice yako anaishi kwa hiyo nyumba. Alikuwa anaishi zile kutafutwa. Mhm. Alikuwa nasikia nasikia alikuwa anakaa na huko Vika Road sijui wapi. Haya turudi hii imali uh-huh. penye wewe ndio uliambia unaenda kuchukua mwili si ndio uh-huh. sasa venye wamekam na patricia uh-huh. alitambulisha patricia kama nani kwa hao watu alikuja kwanza hata tukiwa hapo kwa nyumba ya Kevin hiyo sasa ni mm ndio alikopata patricia mm alipiga police station simu mhm akaongea kikamba na hao jamaa. Mm. Akawaambia ni kama ni, ni kama aliwaambia mpata mtana. Mm. So, Tushaenda. Mhm. Ndio sasa ndio siku saa 2. Mhm. Hapo simu alipiga tukiwa hapo akawaambia ako na ile anatafuta mtana wake yule alikuwa na Azana Kevin. 
na kwa in the process ya kumpata na akimpata ni yeye anafaa kuwe akuje mhm kwa hiyo sisi tuliacha kama hajapatikana na ndio waliniruhusu ni mimi nitarauka kuendea mwili mhm kwa hivyo kitu saa tatu ya usiku sasa ndio alimpata na akampanga akampanga ndio warauke na yeye kuchukua mwili mhm ndio hata simu kwa motari walipiga tusi tusaje tu for the viewing mm. for the family kezi mm. but to sifanye anything zaidi ya hiyo mhm ni mama Patricia uh, ni mama Erika atakuja sasa kuendeleza hiyo maneno kutoka hapo mhm eh so amesema um, kwa phone we una uh-huh. unamdanganya danganya sana wewe ndio I, i think um, alikuwa na maanisha wewe ndio umekuwa kikwa ruzi chake kufikia familia uh, unajua mm. si ati ni nilimuuliza kitu ya kwanza kwa nini kama Kevin aliaga mbona wewe hujaipigia shoshu mwambie mchugu wako mm. aliaga mm. unaona mm. mimi ndio nataka kutumia nifikishe report Mhm. Mm-hmm. Kama ulikuwa mama mama ule mama Jenny eh ukuje ukuja open leo sema. Mhm. Hii imefanyika na ni watoto wetu. Mhm. Si age agejulisha familia. Mhm. Mimi juu niko mbali atafute shosho. Mhm. Akuja mu update na ile ya mzuri ile kulifanyika. Ukweli. Lakini zinaona sisi tulijua through hiyo mama Marcel. Mhm. Ya ile ya alifika simu hata yako anajua mtu kwa familia ni wewe anko yetu peke yake. So mama Muffin alipigia anko yenu. Eh. Yeah. Anajua t- then anko sandi akawaambia. Anko dia yaza kutupigia simu yenye tuko Nairobi mm. and then mkonfirm kama ni hivyo nafikia. Mm. Uju huyu alijua mambo yamefanyika usiku saa nane Mm. Na hiyo kutoka saa nane mpaka hiyo saa tulienda hapo hakuna mtu alikuwa ameambia wa familia kenye kilifanyika. Hata hakuna hata mtu wa familia yetu. Okay, sawa sawa. Eh. Haya bro, nimi appreciate asante sana. Ah. Cha tuendelee kukazana mpaka tutatue hii kesi, si ndio? Asante. Sa- sawa basi, asante. Ah, okay, okay. Again, so I think we are developing something here and I can't say at I like it just that short conversation with mama patricia two lies were told or maybe allegedly you've heard from the guy you've also heard from shosh shosh wajaita futwa so kabisa mm. sai mjui nini naendelea atujui kenye kinaendelea but tulienda paka kutini sisi mm. avenye tulienda tulitoa usaidi wetu mm. avenye tulitoa ai kumalizika mm. next day mamangu akalala kwangu tukarauka tukarudi kotini saa tano. Mm. kuenda huko eh, jaji mwenye alikuwa na hiyo kesi yetu akasema yeye hiyo kesi imemlemea na ameweka kalamu chini so tukaulizana kesi imelemea jaji eh alisema hivyo ngoja eh eh si hata nani walikuwa Tulikuwa huko mimi mamangu mm. mamavin mavin na familia yetu ingine friends za kivi e. alisema hiyo kesi hata kesi hata endelea nayo kwa nini ameweka karamu chini hivyo tu na akaamka kwa kiti akaenda so, na akasema tuende kuti namba 1 uh-huh. kesi yetu atitupeleke huko atukujua sababu mm. atukujua mm eh kesi mlikuwa mmeenda kustopisha Kevin kuzikwa langata eh sasa hivi mkaambiwa aimemshinda eh ilikuwa hivi Kate mm. aku anatuambia venye kunaendelea huko mm. hata ni bahati tu nani na Joy alikuwa na nini alikuwa na, na WhatsApp Joy ni Marvin sasa ni Marvin mm. eh so mimi nilienda paka kwao nikaona ati mazishi ya Kevin itafanywa on alikuwa amesema sijui siku gani mm na itapelekwa rangata. Mimi nikachukua nini simu ya Marvin nika record, nikaongea nika na recording. Nikauliza nani amesema Kevin anazikwa rangata? Sisi familia hatujui, so hakuna mazishi ya Kevin. Nika drop au kurudisha. Mm-hmm. Tena nikaambia huyo Kate, Kate. Wacha kusumbua familia yetu. Toka kwa nyumba ya Mary. Weenda kwenye ulitoka toka kwa property ya wenyewe wacha kuzika mtoto wa wenyewe kama hujui 
e, mizizi yake kwenye ametoka na nikaacha mm. awa ku reply hiyo mm. wakanyamazia mm. so from there si ndio sasa hii kesi sasa ikaendelea ikaendelea hivyo tukapatana yeye na sisi familia na mbaba mwingine hapo anajiita Moses Mwaniki Matu. Huyo mm. sasa kutokelezea akakuja akaongea tu kama mwanaume vizuri sana. Na akasema di, venye shushu atasema ndivyo utafuatwa. Sasa tena venye alienda na kete akangeuka. Akasema yeye ni biological father wa Kevin. Eh? Eh, na akaandika barua. Wait. Huyo Moses. Eh. Na huko alikuwa amesema yeye alipatana na Amerika kama Kevin amezariwa kama kila mtu anasikia. Sasa tukiwa kotini nikamwambia aongee ukweli. Ni kwa sababu already alisema yeye si biological father na tutafuata venye shosho anataka. Tuheshimu shosho. Which is my mom. Hivyo. Mm. Wewe venye huyu mtu ameshajitambulisha mm. at sasa yeye ni biological father wa Kevin. Mm. Ushamuona kwa maisha ya sister yako? Eh huyo mtu e. walikuwa na nani, walikuwa wanaishi aje na Wa, sister yako sister yangu hata hakuwa analala kwa nyumba naongea ukweli wa Mungu anione sister yangu hata hakuwa analala kwa hiyo nyumba tulikuwa tunaishi motherland hapo kwa protein inaitwa raju e. so mwaniki walikuwa tu wanafurugana 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 wanameria naenda na kuja asubuhi huyu naye ametoka ameenda kazi akikuja jioni meria ameshatoka wameishi hivyo e. So alikuwa anadanganya wameishi na yeye multiple wameishi na yeye sijui wapi na wapi na wapi nikamwambia wacha uongo. Sasa hiyo sasa najielewa niko mkubwa mm. na nilikuwa naishi kwa hiyo nyumba. So nikamwambia awache uongo. Aliamka tu akatoka kutini akaenda sijui kwani alienda. So amekuja amejitambulisha mm. sasa yeye ni biological. E, na akarudi saidi hawa sasa. Na Kiti na Beleni alikuwa na, na alipata Kevin kama amezaliwa. E, alipata Kevin kama amezaliwa. Eh nikamwambia wache uongo. So tena akageuka akaingia hii side ingine. Hey. That was fast. Mm. Na akasema ati Kevin ni mtoto wake. Na hata anajua yeye ni mtoto wake ni kwa sababu yeye ni mtoto wake. Alisema tu hivyo. Uh. Eh. Hey. Anajua yeye ni mtoto wake. Eh hey, nikamwambia ongea ukweli, ongea ukweli wewe ulipatana na Mary wetu kama Kevin amezaliwa. Na mimi nimekujua tu na melimu kiingia nyumba moja hivi nilikuanga hapo ongea ukweli. Ni kwa sababu Kevin nimemlea kutoka akiwa katoto. Tulikuwa tunaachwa kwenye tumelelewa sisi wote hivyo. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi Mr. Moneki. Yes. Yeah. How are you? Fine. Uh, my name is Lin Gugi. Yeah. My name is Lin Gugi. Yes. Yeah. I'm a journalist. Mm. I'm just I'm calling you on record. I'm following Kevin's story. Sorry? I'm following up on Kevin's story. Yes. Na niko uku kwa shushu. Uh. Uku shago muranga. Uh. Na kuna pahali wamekutaja na nilikuwa nataka your side of the story. Mm. Wamesema umesema wewe ndio babake Kevin biological. Uh, ni si uni, si ni... Hello? Hello? Tuingie hii mali ya sistako. Mm. Umesema upendi uongo. Mimi sipendi uongo. Hii mali ya sistako sahi yenye inakaa ndio inafuatwa fuatwa. Hii mm. mali ni gani na imetoka wapi? Sistangu mm. kutoka kitambo alikuanga na beauty hapo uchumi Adams na ni mimi hata niko na picha hapo nikiwa hapo nikiuza. Eh venye mimi nilipata ball mm. nikatoka nikaacha kazi ya sister mm. So aliendelesha akuiacha. So alikuwa anaenda hizi wig za human. Hizi hizi nini zinaweka zinawekangwa na wasichana. Alikuwa anaendea <laughs> sijui maju. Hizi <laughs> analeta eh. <laughs> Anakuja nazo. So alikuwa anafanya tu business yake hivi. Mm -hmm. Kwa kwa business akapatana na mzungu. Huyu mzungu wakapendana sana na wa, walikuwa wanaishi na yeye. Uko nini? Uko mm, Riverside. Mm. Na paka nini? Huyo mzungu hata akikuja ananijua vizuri sana. Juni nilikuwa naenda paka kwa hiyo nyumba. Na paka Runda walikuwa wanaishi na yeye. Sa hiyo Erika ni kadogo. So sister yangu akitaka kuenda business alikuwa ananiambia msichana wake ni wakukuja na kuenda. Wairimu kuja 
ukae na mtoto siku mbili naenda mtoto wa Kevin e, sasa kwa mtoto wa Kevin mm. cuz Kevin alikuwa anga mlevi huyu msichana mwenye ameza na yeye ameenda ayuko na msichana bado ni mlevi mm. ile totally mm. hakuwa na hata hakuwa na take care ya mtoto mm. so Mary alikuwa ananiambia wairimo kuja siku mbili ama tatu nikadishie na huyu mtoto hata watoto wangu wanajua hivyo tulikuwa tunaenda na watoto wangu tunakaa huko like 2 to 3 days Mary anatoka business zake anakuja na vitu zake za kuuza mimi narudi kwangu mm. hivyo mm. sasa unaona Mary bado alikuanga na business zake mm. bado mzungu asi alikuanga na tudo mm. sasa Mary akiambia mzungu kitu wako anakata mm. sasa hii mari yote Mary wametafuta na huyo mzungu mm. eh okay mm. Ni mali gani na gani tunaongelelea hapa ilikuwa ongelele, mm. ilikuwa imeachiwa Kevin Kevin alikuwa ameachiwa gari nyumba na plots which is my mom na Muroten ndio wanajua mali ziko mimi sijui juu siku anatembea na juu mm. nilikuwa kazi mm. so mami anajua hata washawaenda kwa wakiri waka process hizo vitu zikaonekana hivyo mm. eh, sasa gari nyumba yenye sasa hiyo yenye kita kwa saa hii na zingine. Mm. Turudi kwa Kevin. Mm. Umesema umemlea. Mm. Na umesema pia alikuwa na shida ya ulevi hapa na hapa. Hey. Alikuwa mtoto wa aina gani na walikuwa aje ye na mamake? Sistangu mm. alikuwa ni yule mtu wa kuongeresha mtoto sana. Hakuwa anataka mtoto wake apotee. So akiona Kevin anaenda kupotea alikuwa anamrudisha na home. Anamwambia sina mtoto mwingine ni wewe tu. Si uchange tena ananiita Kevin alikuwa ananisikiza sana alikuwa anasema mimi ni favorite yake anti mm. fifa huyu ni anti yangu ni yeye napenda sana so Kevin akiongereshwa na sister yangu na mimi namuongeresha so hakuwa ati mtoto mbaya but kusikiza mtu ilikuwa ni ngumu sana yeye kenye amesema ndiki alikuwa anataka ifuatwe ama ifanywe mm. eh prison alienda kufanya prison ni nilimpeleka prison I think venye tulienda kusikiza kesi yake mimi mm. na mamangu na murote ju tulienda nini Sayo kibira mamake alikuwa e, alikuwa amesha ameshaenda uh-huh. venye tulienda mulienda wewe mimi shosho sho, sho, na, na murote na huyo mwenye nimeongea na yeye e, uh-huh. tulienda paka kibira ruko uh-huh. na tulikuwa tuna kesi na zoom aku ati unamuona ni huyu mm. hapana mm. ilikuwa ni pale na yeye yako huko mm. e, sasa tukaenda mara ya kwanza kesi yake ikuendelea mzungu mwenye alikuwa na kesi na yeye akujitokeza mara ya pili tukaenda sasa si ndio hata hiyo mara ya pili bado hakujitokeza mm. lakini kesi yake ilikuwa inasoma gang raping mm. na mambo zingine mm. zenye siwezi kumbuka sahihi but gang, gang raping mm. eh, gang raping na ikumbuka vizuri sana mm. sasa kesi ya Kevin ilikuwa anga hiyo mm. eh ulishamuongelesha kuhusu hivyo venye alitoka prison prison tulienda paka huko kwao ndio tupeleke maombi tuombe tuone kama mtoto wetu atarekebisha akatuambia yeye kwa jera aliokoka hata rudia maneno mbaya so tulimuongelesha mm. mm. okay mm. Sa, saa hii ni nini mnataka kama familia sisi kama familia tungetaka Catherine atoke kwa kwa familia yetu atupe hii awache tu sisi tuamue hii mwili izikwe ni kwa sababu bill bado inaji count na yeye bado anafanya matanga yeye akaona pesa anaweza fanya kila kitu anachangisha anachangisha bado wamechangiwa kabisa biashara wamegonga vizuri hiyo <laughs> nikaa biashara hapo ako biashara si siri uh-huh. ni kwa sababu kama venye mazishi ilisimama ili siangeambia hawa wenye wanachanga simameni uh-huh. kwanza yu matanga haiendelei na mazishi yende bado wanaenda kwa hiyo nyumba uh-huh wanaenda kufanya nini? Uh-huh. Mimi kitu kyenye naweza taka Catherine nafanye na huyo msichana wake. Hata simkumbukangi jina. Patricia. Patricia huyo. Wao si familia yetu, atuwajui huku kwa hii boma yetu. Mwenye tunajua, wenye tunajua Kevin alileta huku. Mimi si kumiti huyo wa kwanza mwenye mamia anasema, mimi eh huyu ndiye aleleto kwangu. Marvin. Eh Marvin alileta kwangu wakakuja anti Uyu msichana ndiye anataka kuoa. Ni mzuri. Nikamwambia yeye ni karembo na ni kazuri. Akaniambia sasa nataka tu, tu nipange tuchinjie mami, yani atoe rurashio. Mm-hmm. Dio aweze ku, kununua huyu msichana. Njua mm-hmm. anapenda mtoto wake. Mm-hmm. 
huyu aliniambia anti huyu msichana anapenda mtoto wangu sana sana sijawahi pata girlfriend anapenda mtoto wangu hivyo that's why nataka kumuoa Kevin aliniambia hivyo na mdomo yake mm. sasa nikamwambia ni sawa nyinyi endere hata siku anajua hawa wanaishi karibu na mimi uh-uh. siku anajua walikuwa tu walikuja tu na wakaenda mm. Sasa kusikia tena ati mtoto atazikwa rangata na mamake tumemweka hapa. Hatuwezi itikia. Hizo siku mama Kevin na Kilea Erika mm. na wewe ukilea Erika. Mm. Mama Erika alikuwa wapi? Akuwa huyo msichana alienda mtoto akiwa mdogo. Huyo msichana alienda kitambo sana na sistangu akiwa hosi kwa kitanda akaniambia. Aliniambia na kikuyu bati nitasema tu na Kiswahili. Mm. Wairimo akanipatia bagi yake yenye niko nayo. Hii ni bagi yangu. Friend yangu ni witness. Nilikuwa na yeye hapo. Hii ni bagi yangu. Vitu zangu zote ziko hapo. Chunga vitu zangu. Aliniambia hivyo na mdomo yake miri. Hata familia yangu inajua. Mm. Na akaniambia, unaona huyu mama huyo mtoto, huyo mwenye ako na Kevin. Huyo Patricia. E, musiitikia ingie kwa nyumba yangu. Na musiitikia aguze kitu yangu hata kanyasi kakiwa kwa nyumba siguze. Na asiyai mguu yake asiyai pita kwa nyumba yangu. Mm. Eh hey, nikamwambia Mary na uko na bita. Eh hey, wacha nipeleke ya ICU nitoke. Akutoka alikufa kama ninamwangalia hivyo mimi. Mm. Tuingie kwa mamako mm. amesema ndio mzike sister yenu hapa mm. mlikuwa na kesi na Kevin. Eh hey. kesi ilikuwa gani? Aya si Mary sasa ameaga. Hey. Tumemwacha aga Khan. Tukamon, tukamaliza matanga. Kumaliza matanga tukapaka the day ya madhishi ilikuwa wenezi ilikuwa ni siku ya wenezi but siwezi kukumbuka date uh. kevo akaanzia kuchange anaongeresha sistangu mkubwa vibaya kwa matanga e sistangu akamwambia utaniongeresha hivyo mimi si warika yako tena unaniongeresha hapo mbele ya watu eh mnataka vitu za mamu sijui nini sijui nini ninajua mnataka kumuzika ndio mninyanga mninyanganye mninyanganye kubeke alikuja kutuambia baadaye alikuwa eh Anti poleni kwanza hapa nje. Anti poleni. Keti ndiye alikuwa ananiambia mkizika mama yangu, mtaninyang'anya vitu za mama yangu zote. That's why nilikuwa naleta fujo. So alienda huko agakana, akaenda akastaki tusitoe mwili. Na sasa hiyo ni siku ya Wednesday tunaenda Sasa kwa mwili. Eh. Tuliletewa barua inatoshana na hivi. Tukiwa hapo kwa sasa kwa kwa mochari. Eh, mrote akaisoma, nikaisoma tukaambiwa tuende kotini which is koti kwa utubu uko ndani uh. tukapanda HDU kwenye alikuwa room number 3 uh-huh. ndio tuliingia kevo akasema yeye anataka kuzika mamake rangata na amenunua kaburi na hata saduku amenunua na hakuna hata perekwa muranga anataka mamake aishi maisha ya kiutajiri venye alikuwa na hii amuzike aishi huko na matajiri venye alikuwa naishi hata zikwa huku kwa mashida mami akainua nguo akienda kuinua akarudishwa sijui nani alimshikilia ikarudi chini nililia yani nililia ile uchungu yenye hata wewe uwezi amini nikaambia Mungu ni nini sasa na huyu kadri hata yuko alikuja baadaye na kibeti hivi na karo yake ingine hapo wakafika kufika hawakuongea sasa ule wakiri alikuwa na huyo roya mwenye alikuwa na hiyo kesi akauliza nani mama Mary wangoi mamangu akasema ni mimi. Ah, uh, shosho unataka aje? Nataka nisike mtoto yangu. Huyo hata akukesi sana, akapiga mihuri, akasema enda uzike mtoto wako. Sasa hiyo kevu ameleta askari, askari wamekataa. Nini nini nini? Au uh, huyo Roya akasema, shosho, enda uzike mtoto wako. Sasa si ndio Kevin sasa tena amekataa na zile makaratasi tusitoe mwili kwa gate. Eh, hey, askari tena akamwambia utapeana ndio sasa tukapewa mwili saa sita. na saa hiyo ni Catholic hata ni Mungu tu fadha alitugoja tukafikisha mwili hapa kitu tu hapo hivyo yututupea mwili saa sita na nusu uh-huh. kevo alikuja kama mwili ya mama yake inawekwa kwa shimo imeteremshwa iko kuota akasema nataka kuona mamangu akaleta shida ikapandishwa akafunuliwa watu walijua kwenye tunazika hata yoro ya tu kuwa nayo hata picha tu kuwa nayo kevin alikuwa sijui alikuwa aje mimi alileta hizo vitu baadaye Mary akiwa kupaka kwa shimo. Si ndio sasa mamia alilia sana nikaambia mami wacha kulia jumwili tumezika hiyo ingine ni bada. Badai. Kevo acha akitaka kuharibu vitu za mamake ni za mamake. 
sisi hatuna haja nazo mm. aharibu ni za mamake na ni mtoto wake wacha sasa hapa mba miri tushia muleta nyinyi mko mm. na haja na hizo mali za sister yenu ama mmekuwa na haja na hizo properties atakuwa na haja nazo Kevin akiwa uhai ni kwa sababu yeye ni mtoto wa sister yangu na ndiye yako next of kin so mm. atungekuwa shughuli nazo atungekuwa na shughuli mm. nazo hata hakuna mtu anikuwa interest nazo mm. but for now aachilie vitu za wenyewe atafute zake aachilie mili ya wenyewe familia izike eh hey. mm. kama wana watch ungetaka kuambia nini kama wanatuangalia yes Catherine na nani Regina <laughs> Trisha wacheni kusumbua mamangu ni mzee wacheni kukimbishana na vitu zizenu kama kitu hujadhukuma na mikono yako haijabarikiwa na Mungu tokeni kwa mali ya wenyewe wachaneni na mambo mingi hii mili izikwe iache kukaa mochari nyii mko na pesa mnachangisha bado sisi hatujafanya matanga yoyote na bill bado inya, inaji count mochari so kitu yenye naweza kuwaambia nyinyi wachilieni vitu za wenyewe wachilieni mili wacheni kupikimishana na vitu si zenu ni vibaya mm-hmm. eh sawa sawa mm. santi sana mm. acha sani ongee na mama muffin eh najua pia ni mzazi anasumbuka mm. na pia yeye angetaka kusema a bit of about her daughter mm. so acha niongee na yeye kidogo si sawa okay naitwa Jennifer Wanjiko uh-huh. mimi ndio mamake Joy Wamboi uh-huh. uyu anaita Muffin uh-huh. aka Muffin uh-huh. ndio mtoto wangu wa kwanza uh-huh. mm. kulingana na uju maybe kitu mafi na alikuwa anakueleza mm. uhusiano wao na Kevin ulikuwa mgani na we umesha meet Kevin e, k- kama mwezi wa ine hivi mm. Kevin walikuja na msichana wangu kwa nyumba mm-hmm. na mafi na kanifanyia introduction mm-hmm. na pia walikuja na mtoto anaitwa Erika akaniambia mamu huyu ndiye naishi na yeye mm-hmm na huyu ni mtoto wa Kevin. Sasa venye wa, alimleta tulimit pia na Kevin tarehe 30th mm-hmm. mwezi wa sita. Mm-hmm. Nilikuwa nimeenda kwetu Ushago, tulikuwa na aitangu ilo rashio mm-hmm. cause mamangu alikuwa single mother mm-hmm. inaitwa kusik blessings mm-hmm. 30th. Mm-hmm. Ndio tu, tulipatana tena na Kevin. Venye saa tulirudi Nairobi Kevin walianza kukuja kwetu nyumbani. Mm. Na Kevin nikamfanya rafiki yangu sababu walikuwa tu wakikuja Kevin na Kotum Levi. So ni, tulikuwa tunakaa kwa nyumba Kevin akaanza mtoto wangu hapo before alikuwa ananipea story. Anaambia akimam Kevin anakuanga na stress 1 2 3 anaishingi na mama mwenye baby mama mwenye baby mama mm. so nikafanya Kevin rafiki yangu na akaanza kunipatia story ananiambia mom mimi na go through hell nimejaribu kufukuza huyu mama kwa nyumba anakatalia ananiambia tu nipatie mpaka 30th nipatie mpaka 30th so nakumbuka juzi ilikuwa date i think ilikuwa 31st mm. mwezi wa mwezi wa nane akaniambia mam akanipigia simu mam nataka kukuomba kabla mafi nafiki hapa niko mm. wako pale na Erika mam mm. nataka kukuomba e, Erika akuje hii weekend kwako cuz kuna vitu nataka ku change hapo mbele ni Kevin alikuwa ananiambia mam mimi nimejaribu kufukuza Catherine alikuwa anamuita Kate mm. na nataka kwenda ku change locks so wakikuja na muuliza muli change locks ananiambia hapana tuja change. So hiyo 30 I think ilikuwa 31st. Mm. Kevin akanipigia simu. Akaniambia mam nataka mtoto ku change bedroom cause Kathleen alikatalia bedroom ya mama yangu. Nataka ku change bedroom ndio ni, ni change nitoe vitu za Kathleen niziweke kwa bedroom mwingine. Na sababu sitaki Erika aone hii maneno na kuomba tu Erika akuje kwako. Mimi nikamwambia haina shida. So hiyo Friday jioni wakakuja na Muffin na Erika na kijana mwingine anaitwa Don. Mm. Walikuwa wakikuja hao Don wanabaki nje. 
So ka, e, Murphy na Kevin na mtoto wanaingia home. Wakaingia kwa nyumba. Wakaniambia wana mamu venye tulikuambia ndiyo maana tumelita mto, mtoto. Nikamuambia wachini mtoto waka, mm. akai. Mi nikakaa na Erika sasa hiyo Friday, Saturday na Sunday. Cause Kevin ya liniambia Erika nafungua shule tue, uh, Tuesday. Wata mkujia mande. Mm. So wakakuja hiyo mande. Mimi hata sato, sato nilikuwa naenda odhoni yanko yangu ilikuwa karatina. Mm. Na siku na house girl. So watoto wangu niko na watoto wadogo. Mm. Nikambia baba, baba ya watoto wangu sasa ni my husband. Mm. Weenda na watoto hawa wako kwa mjazoyana na Erika, mm. niende tumi na Erika. Tukaenda na Erika mbaka karatina. Hata niko na hizo picha tukiwa mm. na Erika. Mm. Tukaenda na tukarudi. Saa mande wakakuja home. Wakakujia um, Erika. Lakini kabla watoke walika kwa nyumba. Mi nilika hapa kuna kitiko pale. Mafi na kakalia pale. Na Kevin na kakalia pale. Hakaniambia mamu. Sasa nilibadilisha bedroom. Na Catherine anakuja leo jioni. Nikamwambia ni saa, ni sawa, nyinyi endeni mujisoti na hiyo maneno yenu mm. sababu mimi sitaki kuingililia hii life yenu. Mm. Na nikamwambia mtoto wangu usiingililie life ya hawa. Mm. Wewe ukae tu wa, wache waji wajipange. So walitoka. Wakitoka Muffin alibeba alipata baibo yake ya high school ya St Mary's mm. Runda. Mm. Akitoka kwa mlango wakaniambia mam, hmm, nimebeba baibo yangu. Nikamuambia, kabla watoke, ndiyo nilisema walika pale. Nikauliza hmm. Kevin, Kevin nataka tu kukuuliza swali moja tu. Sababu unaniambia unakuanga na stress na uyu mama, mama Patricia. Nikuuliza tu swali kama mzazi, na nakuuliza kama mzazi, sikuuliza ya sababu wewe, munakanga na mtoto wangu. Munaeza achana aje na huyu mstana wangu, Alafu mimi ni kuje niishi na wewe. Kevin akaniambia ndio hii mambo na jaribingi kutatua, lakini imeniwe, imenikalia mamu, lakini najua tu itaisha tu mamu. Mm. Wakaenda. So, venye walienda Muffin na kitoka kwa mlango mm. wakabeba Bible. Mm. Nikamwambia Muffin, ata umefanya vizuri umepata hiyo Bible. Mi nasikianga zi story zenye muna niambianga hiyo nyumba yenu, ikona mambo nyingi tu sana. Muna need maombi. Na mimi, ebu enda na hiyo Bible uyeke chini ya kitanda yako, chini ya pilo, hiyo ni wiponi ya, yako. ni wiponi yako. Na mimi kazi yangu tu, nitakuwa tu na waombea. Kevin ananiambia, aki enyewe tu mamu, endila tu kutuombea, sababu hii si mambo hatuelewi. Mm. Wakaenda. So, badai, tena walikuja home. Gari venye ilitoka garage, EKCH. Wakakuja na hiyo home. Kevin akaniambia, uh, mam, kuja uone gari. Ime, imeisha hiko hapa inje. Haka kuja, haka nipatia funguo. Heyo gari. Haka nimbia, mam, ebu shika, nataka wendo ugurumisha hiyo gari. Uisiki, uisiki. Nika mambia, hey, Kevin, hii gari kubwa hivi, tutawezana. Anambia, pana. Hata nataka, unipatia gari enu, tunaenda kwa anko. Kevin venye likujanga hapo before, mm. nilikuwa na muuliza maswali. Kevin. Sasa, si urudi tu home. Uende tu. Kila kitu ni nyumba, ni nyumbani. Wakaanza kuenda kwa anko yake, hapa dhika. Hata kikuja tu walikuwa napitia home, nimbia, mamu tunaenda kwa anko, mm. kwa zi uniliambia ni rudi home. Mm. So Kevin, hiyo time wakachukua gari yetu, akatuachia hii kubwa. Mm. Na sisi tulikuwa tunapeleka kijana wetu keno, mm. ndio hende afungue shule. Mm. Venye Kevin aliacha hiyo gari, tu isi tulitoka na hiyo tukapitia kamitekona kuna documents tulikuwa tunapeleka mahali. Mm. Penye mama, mata inuwa metupea shaba. Mm. Mm. Kufika kamitekona, hiyo gari kaonyesha ta. Na walikuwa wameeka 2K. Waditoambia wameeka 2K44. Nikawapigia, nikawambia, eh, hii gari ya tuwezani. Kama mweka 2K, na tumefika, nimefika na hiyo kamitekona, imeonyesha ta, ah, hata, uh, Kozi wali tuambia waende kwa anko, tupatane sasa keno. Kozi tuwa tufikishe mtoto keno. Si tukachukua mtoto, tukamwambia tuendi hata sasa keno. Nyi malizeni na anko, mkuje ho, mkuje ho. So si tukapeleka mtoto bypass, tukamweka kwa gari ya enda molango. Mm. Sasa Kevin akakuza ho, wakachukua gari. Sasa wakaenda na gari yao. Kevin akacha ameniambia, mam, mi kuna mambo nyingi tu nataka kubadilisha kwa hii life yangu. 
Cause mamu wacha ni kuambie. Mimi nimeka, nimekuwa na wasichana wengi. Lakini mtoto wako nimempenda kabisa. Cause nilikuwa namwambia, "Ai Kevin, hata mafi nalilia kwa nyumba. Nikamwambia, "Ai Kevin, kama unajua unachezea huyu mtoto wangu, muachane tu. Wewe uende ukae life yako na mafi na kae life yake." Kevin akaniambia, "Hapana, mam, mi nataka kukaa na msichana wako. Sababu msichana wako one thing anapenda mtoto wangu sana huyu Erika. Number two, Muffin haniitishangi pesa ya kucha, haniitishangi pesa ya nywele. Ye anayandanga, ana, anajipanga, ana, anaenda kazi, ana, ana, ana nini. Hmm. Alafu Muffin hajui kuguza kitu ya mtu. Nikimpea, akiniomba 300, nikimpea thau, anarudisha che. Change. Anarudisha change, hata nikambia Muffin. Hey, Muffin na weni mzuri, <laughs> aje, tukacheka kwa nyumba. Uh, uh. So, Mambo yangu na Kevin ilikuwa imefika hapo. Mm. Sasa, ikiwa tarehe 16 asubuhi. Muffin, uh, kabla hiyo jioni, mm. mi nilika tu chini kwa kiti. Nilikuwa na godzea, nipigiwe simu, nil, kuna gari nilikuwa nieke mafuta ilikuwa kazi. Mm. So, miki tu saine, nimeka tu kwa nyumba. Bwana yangu wameenda kulala. So, nilikuwa na godzea hiyo phone call. Ni, pig, ni gari toke kwa site mm. ndio tuyeke mafuta mm. kitu saine na 20 nikasikia kabisa nimemisi mtoto wangu mafi nikamuandikia message kwa whatsapp ile tu napenda kucheza na, wat, na watoto wangu cause na waonyesha nga mi na wapenda nikamuandikia haro ime ime imeenda hivi mm. ilikuwa saa 4 mm. na 20 mm. usiku eh alafu nikaona haijabrutik nikamalizana na 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 driver nikapanda juu so venye niliona haijabrutik nikasema nipigie muffin simu nikasema alafu nikasema ah najua leo ni friday maybe wameenda out. Mm. Siku, siku piga simu na nikala, nikalala. Asubuhi nikamuka, nikipika breakfast. Nikaona simu, imiandikuwa hidaya, ilikuwa ni unamba. Mm. So, mafin, aka, uh, mafin ya liongea. Mam, niko, venye mini lishika yangu, mm. niko hosi mobasa, Na sijui ni anze ya wapi. Nikamu, nikaeka, nilikuwa napika mandazi. Nikauliza muffin. Kwa ni, niambie tu nini, utanze wapi kwa nini. Haka niambia, uh, mam, Kevin, Sean na Erika wamekufa. So, mi nikabreki tu. Nilianza tu kulia. Na tulikuwa na buwana yangu tu wapo. So, mother in law wakakuja, wananiuliza ni nini. Misi ji, si, nikashindua kueleza. So, badae, nikachukua tena simu yangu. Nikapigia, iyo simu ilikuwa mafi na imepiga na. Nikamuliza, Joe, umeniambia nini? Haka niambia, maamu nimekuambia niko empisha. Empisha wapi? Hapa Nairobi, Tumeleto wa usiku na ambulance na tulikuwa tunaenda coast. Kevin aliniambia, anasikia tu, akona stress za mama yake, akaniambia tuenda wapi? Tuenda Mombasa. Lakini sijui tu, venye tulifika sarama, Kevin gari kalol. Nikamuliza na wewe uko aji, akaniambia, niko sawa, lakini niko uku hosi tumekuja na Erika, lakini Erika hame pass tu sahi. Na nikamuliza na Kevin na kowapi. Haka niambia Kevin na, na Sean tumewaacha Sultan Hamud. Um, so mimi, nika, sasa, apo, sasa mama yangu mm. ako wapo. So nika wanasikia tu venye tunaongea. Mm. Mm. Mika bila tuingia mpisha niliona huyo beshte ya Kevin mm. anaitwa Kata. Mm. Nika waona kwa gate. So venye tulizunguka hivi parking, tulikuja tu mi kata, haka nembea kujeni ni wapeleke kwenye mafinu wako. 
tuka, mi kabla tuingie kwa mlongo nikawambia ninasikia kabisa nitajikojolea waka tukaonyeshwa cho tukaenda mi already nilikuwa nishaanza breeding tukaenda tu kwenye nilipata joy wangu ako sijui ni emergency mi venye tu nilipata mtoto wangu nilimshika tu hivi na nikaanza kuomba nika kneel down nikaomba 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 sasa ndio nilianza kufuata nika nikaambiwa mafi na natakika naende skani ya kichwa tunatakika na 30,000 nikaenda nika nikaongea nika na daktari mwenye alikuwa anahusika na mafi nikamuuliza sasa mimi 30,000 kwa saa hii sina na naomba tu munipatie transfer mm. nipeleke mtoto wangu kwa usingine wao daktari akaniambia enda ulipe consultation ya 2000 alafu nini mm. muende na, na joy mm. so nika nikaomba nikawaambia nataka kwenda kuona Erika Erika alikuwa ananiita Shosh alikuwa tu akikuwa kwangu ananiambia Shosh i want to speak to baba so nachukua simu yangu na mpea wanaongea na baba wakimaliza tu kuongea na na Kevin anamuuliza who is Muffin my future mother hakuna siku Erica ashai kuwa kwetu ama wakiongea na Kevin wana ashai achati wanaongea na baba yake aongee na Muffin wanaongea wanacheka na kata simu hmm. so mimi nikaenda kwa mogo niliuliza niliuliza Muffin Muffin mulileto aje huko sasa ndio akanipea story akaniambia Catherine amekuwa hapa na kitu yenye aliniuliza aliniuliza mumeniulia mtoto ukipelekwa raha so mimi nikashindwa jamii nani huyu anaweza omba kifo wao ndio wanajua sababu yenye ilikuwa inawapeleka Mombasa wao ndio walikuwa wamejipanga so nikaomba kabla tumaliziwe kulipa hiyo 2000 nikaomba ni, nikaenda kwa mog nika nikatolewa Erika nikamuona mm. na sorry usiguze mm. hapo mm. mm. ni sawa nikamuona mm. na nikaomba tu hapo tukamaliza mimi mm. nikachukua mtoto wangu tukaenda sasa hospitali nikachukua mtoto wangu tukaenda naye nyumbani venye alifanywa scan akaambiwa na x-ray za miguu mm. akaambiwa ko sawa mm. tukaenda nyumbani kwetu watu wengi wamesema hivi na hivi na yes. hivi mm. ungetaka kusema nini kama mama nitasema kwa hii dunia kuna watu wenye wanakuanga na positive mind na kuna wenye wanakuanga na negative mind mm. but before the living god na unaweza ni, ni jaji hivi niko na kitu mimi nasimamanga nayo Mungu anajuanga udani wa roho ya mtu. Mtoto wangu anakaanga kwa nyumba, anatuacha, anaenda bedroom. Analia, 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 anakuja ananiambia mam, sasa nimemaliza kulia. Mimi nitaambia watu. Chenye mtoto wangu ana go through hata mimi mwenyewe sijui na sielewi. Yeye ndiye anajua relationship yake na Kevin ilikuwa aje. Na hata kila siku naambianga joy wangu. Muffin. Sai ukuna moon. Sai umalize ku moon. Uanze process ya healing. Naambianga mtoto wangu. Ukitoka kwa hii mlango yetu nataka Mungu akupe a new chapter you have been through a lot uli umeniambia na chenye mlikuwa mnapitia na Kevin kwa nyumba hiyo alikuwa ananiambia wanajifungia kwa bedroom hawajai ji enjoy kwa hiyo nyumba cause Kate ali take over kila kitu naambia mtoto wangu na watu wenye wanatuona kindly 
au jiwe uchungu wa mwana ni mzazi ombeeni tu mtoto wangu aweze kuhili maneno na Mungu wangu tu pia mtoto wangu leverage nyingine mpya ampatie chapter nyingine mpya mimi siwezi taka kuona mtoto wangu anaanza maisha alafu inakatikia katikati Mungu tu aponye mtoto wangu roho yake na ampatie tu mwanzo mpya Mungu tu ndiye ametufikisha hapa ametufikisha na sijui kwa nini mtoto wangu alisurvive hata niliambia Muffin Muffin kuna watu tu watasema wewe ndio umekula Kevin sababu umesurvive lakini venye nimekulea najua wewe ni mcha Mungu na najua hautaki mali ya Kevin tumekulea na tumetosherekana na chenye kidogo Mungu ametupatia Wacha neni tu na mtoto wangu Amon boyfriend yake na pia Mafi naangalianga videos zake na Erika yeye sio mama Erika lakini amekaa na Erika na amemlea tu hivyo amemlea kwa zinaonanga venye na kujanga na bag amepakia Erika nguo ananiambia mam kana huyu na mtoto wetu nitawaambia hivi hakuna mtu hana past hata muffin hivyo amelea huyo mtoto ni watoto wengi wananelewa wamezaliwa wamelelewa na mababa wengine na wamama wengine muache kevin maombi yangu ni muache kevin azikwe na familia yake kevin yako na familia kuna kwenye mama kevin amezaliwa ya dunia huisha na hata mali inaishanga na yenye haikuhusu wachana tunayo mimi Catherine tumeenda kotini na tukaambiwa tukapewa nafasi tuende tuongee familia waongee tulipatana mkahawa inaitwa Upper Hills na in fact hata niko na hizo recording simu yangu ilikuwa ina record ina inasema ina haina memory enough vitu zenye Catherine anasema sai hata baba huyo stepfather ya Kevin mimi tulikuwa tumekaa next na wakili huyo mzee alisema alimit mama Kevin 1997 na nikaonyesha lawyer nikamuonyesha ID iko kwa simu yangu nikamuonyesha Kevin il, alizaliwa 1995 na huyo mwaniki alisema mi naomba shosho askizwe mwisho mwisho ndio tumeona ameandika tu walijuana na mama Kevin 1994 Kevin akazaliwa 95 atu Kevin alipelekwa kwake 1997 naomba tu kuna Mungu mbinguni na hata ya dunia kuna yenye inasikizangwa na uongo inasikizwa. Naomba tu watu wajue kuna Mungu na waogope Mungu. Mtu mwenye anajua God and exist. Tafadhali ni muogope Mungu. Muachane na familia ya Kevin. Kevin azikwe kwao Muranga. Ni kwa ni hayo tu kwa sasa. Mm. Ungetaka kusema nini kuhusu Erika? Ah. Uh, Erika alikuwa ni mtoto mzuri. Erika alikuwa akikuja anakaa karibu na mimi na watoto wangu. Nilikuwa namchukua tu sababu Kevin alimleta wakiwa na Muffin. Nilikuwa tu namchukua kama watoto wangu. Kama Patricia anataka kuzika mtoto wake, amzike tu venye anataka. Lakini before God na anajua hata tukienda Zimmerman anajulikana kwenye, kwenye anaishi na kwenye alikuwa anafanya. Achane tu na Kevin kwa Kevin ako na familia yake. Na mjue siku hizi Mungu anakuja kwa haraka na anaripisha kwa haraka. Ni vizuri kuachana na mambo ya hii dunia. 
na watu waogope Mungu. Nitasema Erika arrest in peace. Na pia Kevin, ro, roho ya Kevin najua imejaa huku. Roho ya Kevin imejaa river side. Hata walienda kujaribu ku, ku candle light hapo nje. Wakaambiwa hawaezi ingia. Juzi tumeenda na hii familia mpaka kireleshwa police station. OCS alituambia wachaneni na hiyo maneno na nikiwapata kwa hiyo gate nitawabeba na niwalete hapa. Muachane na hiyo maneno na muachane nayo. Naomba tu kuna justice kwa hii nchi yetu. Naomba tu watu watetee hii familia. Mhm. Santi ma. Mm. I know it's a kuwaraisi, mm. but ni mefurahi umesimama na hii familia. Mm. Na ni nafurahi watu sayi wameanza. It's okay. <laughs> Take out. You've done a good job. Mm -hmm. You had no reason to be here, but you are here now. Mm -hmm. Fighting for one thing, mm -hmm. for Kevin to be buried mm -hmm. here. I see how strong you are standing for your daughter. Mm -hmm. Don't stop. Mm -hmm. It's going to be hard, I know, mm -hmm. but don't stop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Today, I'm going Kevin, K.U. Patricia, I'm a baby lezo. Shoshua, I'm going to be a baby. I'm so attendant to a KU alimbebeleza tu akasema kama ni shosh muache tu aone Kevin Shuali hapana mm -mm. <sighs> guys i know this has been a long one for you to watch but i'm just happy i spoke to everyone i spoke to today and I honestly hope Shosho Erika, you heard her on the phone. Uh, Mama Patricia, we are still waiting for your side of the story. I'll wind up now, but I will keep you posted. Until now, obviously, she hasn't called back. We tried calling Patricia. She did not pick. We are also waiting for her side of the story. But I keep saying there's light in truth. Mm -hmm. There's light in truth. That's all I know. There's light in truth. <laughs>